Now, another thing which you may have wondered throughout is why do women participate in and support patriarchy? Why does a woman become another woman's enemy? Let us explore this a bit further. You have seen that in a patriarchal system in general, men hold power in all the important institutions of society and women are deprived of access to such power. This, however, does not imply that under patriarchy women are totally powerless or totally deprived of rights, influence or resources. Women play an important role in all societies. No society can function without women. Some women also get into very powerful, strong positions in patriarchal societies as leaders of political parties, educational or economic institutions. They can command power and prestige in some homes too. Lots of women can and do hold important jobs. However, all this does not change the fact that they do not participate equally as men do in all decision making. Men continue to dominate most social, political, economic and cultural institutions. To give a parallel, in a capitalist society, workers play a very important role. They may even participate in some management committees, but it is the capitalist who calls the shots. Gerda Lerner has explained this point, I think, very well. She writes, Men and women live on a stage on which they act out their assigned roles equal in importance. The play cannot go on without both of them. Neither of them contributes more or less to the whole. Neither is marginal or dispensable. But the stage set is conceived, painted, defined by men. Men have written the play, have directed the show, interpreted the meanings of action and they have assigned themselves the most interesting, most heroic parts, giving women the supporting roles. In other words, the problem is not with what women do or are. The problem is with how that is valued and who has the right to put values to people, their behavior and roles. So friends, it's not that under patriarchy, women perform less or do not perform important tasks or women are dispensable and patriarchy can go on without them. The issue is that what women do has been devalued. The problem is with the framework itself. The framework is determined by men. Within this framework, women have sometimes been assigned important positions they have become queens, prime ministers, but that did not change the nature of patriarchy in any way. The competition, jealousies and conflict between mothers-in-law and daughters-in-law or between a man's sister and his wife also needs to be analyzed in the context of the power and position men and women have in the family and in society. A rural woman explained this very graphically to me. She said, men in our families are like the sun. They have the power and the resources, the income and the mobility. They have the freedom and they take decisions. They are like the sun. She said women are like satellites without any light of their own. 
they shine only if and when the sun's light falls on them this is why women have to constantly compete with each other to have a bigger share of sunlight to be closer to the men because without this light there is no life makes sense doesn't it maybe when women will have their own light or power they will stop competing and fighting with other women